In this video, I would like to show you how to create melodic exercises using the triads that come from these four minor scales. Natural, Dorian, Melodic and Harmonic. As well as some alternative chords, such as the Neapolitan that you just heard. What's great about this system is that you can practice the notes generated how you like, varying the range, the dynamics, the articulation and rhythm to taste once you understand the harmony is endless. Okay, as you can see the first five notes of these scales are all the same. It's actually just the sixth and seventh that change. This is where the action is. Let's listen now to these four minor scales harmonize with their respective one, four and five chords. The natural minor. Okay, this is subjective, but for me, this is the saddest, most melancholy of the four. It's like a cold, crisp, but perfect winter's day. Okay, the next one we will listen to is the Dorian, raising that flat six up to a natural six. Let's see what effect this has. Well, for me, this is more optimistic. I suppose as the sixth is now major, producing a four chord that is major. Okay, the next one we will listen to is the melodic, now with the seventh raised as well. Okay, the feeling for me here is brighter, more uplifting, perhaps because the four and five chords now are major. Okay, the last one we're going to listen to is the harmonic. So now we're lowering that sixth again, but with a major seventh. Okay, the sound of these notes for me is very classical, very striking and emotional. It's used a lot in Argentinian tango music, which is full of nostalgia as well. Okay, these are by no means the only chords that we can use to harmonize these scales, but they are perhaps the ones that mark the sound of each scale. So we're going to use these chords now as the harmonic framework on which to build the melodic exercises. Here's the first one on the natural minor. Number two is on the Dorian minor. I call this the zigzag. It's like snakes and ladders, up one and then down the next. Quite happy that sound after the natural minor, wouldn't you agree? 
Okay, the next one is the zigzag in triplets on the melodic minor. <laughs> By the way, I'm playing the jazz melodic right now, which is same up and down. Later, there are examples of the classic melodic scale that is different ascending and descending. I just wanted to point out that now before the critics come. Okay, the next example is on the harmonic minor. Enjoying the sounds? I am. Okay, the next example, we return to the natural minor again. This time, groups of five that will spice up the interest somewhat, in my opinion. Now, a little bit faster. You may have heard in that a different sound. I use the Neapolitan sixth. Let's have a quick look at that. This beautiful sound is a flat two major Neapolitan chord that is replacing the four chord. Strikingly beautiful. Okay, the next example is with the melodic minor. And the next one is on the harmonic minor. The next example is on the natural minor, groups of seven this time. Now groups of five on the Dorian. Okay, most of the exercises, in fact all of them I think, have been going up. This exercise starts going down. Okay, the next example uses the Neapolitan flat two chord to replace the four minor. Okay, had enough? Well, the sky's the limit with the system, or rather, the imagination is the limit. My hope is getting to know these flavors, the flat six, the natural six, the flat seven, and the major seven on the minor chord, we will be better equipped at the time of composition and improvisation to find the notes we need to express ourselves adequately and faithfully. Well, that's about it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe because that's the digital form of applause. I leave you today with a little duet on the scale. Ciao!